Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching, this is me Mr. P and in this video I would like to talk to you about Samsung DeX Hook 2.0. Let's begin. If you don't know what Samsung DeX Hook is, it's basically the idea I had a quite a, a while ago to create some sort of adapter where I can take my DeX pad, connect my Note 9 to this DeX pad, then put the DeX pad into some sort of adapter where it's gonna be at the top of the monitor and then I can use my phone front facing camera to use as a webcam during a conference calls when I'm using Samsung DeX for work. So that's how, why I created this box. I grabbed a piece of the cardboard, shaped into the box, put some cable ties around it just to make sure that it keeps the shape, put the metal sort of bracket around it just to be like a hook which attaches at the side of the monitor and it stays there and then I can put all this inside like this and that's it. I can use my phone for DeX for using a conference calls and I can use a front facing camera for as a webcam. So all this worked great but I wanted to create something more better than just a piece of the carb of the metal bracket. And since posting this video a lot of time passed and I, I became an owner of the Ender Free Pro 3D printer just end of 2020. And since then I started to messing around with the idea to having this kind of DeX hook thing 3D printed. So in this video I'll show you how basically what I've been doing since this video went live and where I am now with this DEX hook 2.0. So since I created the cardboard, I designed in the CAD software this, uh, 3D printed and assembled. Um, this is the, as I like to call it, DEX gauge. It basically does the same thing. You have some sort of the box shape uh, adapter or holder. You put the DEX pad and the phone inside there and it works great. A couple of problems with this. First of all, it looks crap. It just uh, looks like a cage kind of thing. Obviously ventilation is amazing in this because it's like holes everywhere. But overall, okay, it works. But the problem with that is it doesn't feel that safe. Already it started to fall off because the way I connected all these joints, I used a lot and a lot of super glue, but it started to falling off. So I had to uh, get the cable ties and connect everything around. Plus the hook doesn't feel that safe at all. So I, I just super glued the crap out of it and put the uh, cable tie around it just to keep it safe. And okay, it all works great. But the this DEX hook version, it's, it's not modular. What I mean, I can't attach anything to it. And it's not something that I want to showcase in the videos looking like this. So this, let's call it, this was a DEX hook 2.0 beta version. So I didn't like that. So I scrapped that idea and I started to design a, a box that I can print in one piece. So this is a proper DEX hook 2.0. It's uh, printed in one piece. And as you can see, I can put the DEX pad and uh, Note 9 inside. There's a holes here at the front where I can take one of the hooks and I can attach the hooks using a cable ties. Once I attach this, obviously I can then put on the top of the monitor, it's gonna hold steady. There's a ventilation hose at the back and the front for DEX pad to suck air into and then obviously cool my phone when it's needed and it worked great. But the problem I discovered this kind of design when the hook is in the middle of the, the only one contact point of the monitor is in the middle and I connect all the cables depending where, from where the cable is coming from, the actual adapter on the top of the monitor was leaning left or right. So if I, let's say if I connect all the monitor, all the cables and HDMI and power uh, from this side, it was leaning towards the same side. So one contact point with the monitor wasn't that great. So I scrapped that and I basically done a quick tweak and I added a bunch of extra holes at the top. So I have basically three pairs of holes here. If I put that in, I can right now grab the two hooks that I printed, attach on the right and left, left and right, depending how you look at this, and one in the center if you need it. So I can switch around. They can be attached to this box using cable ties. So no super glue messy. And I was trying to create something that it can snap on, but it's just way too com complicated for me. It's rocket science for me. So I decided just to use simple thing, holes on the hook, holes on the box, put together, put the cable tie, the cable tie through, and it's gonna hold perfectly. Great, and then make sure that the cable management at the back will be neat. I created this kind of loop thing where I can attach it by here on the bottom and then um, with the cable ties obviously. And then I can feed the cables through this loop, through this hole, and all the cables will be basically stuck in one position. But the problem is, I'm being an idiot. I created these holes, I added these holes at the bottom on the wrong side. These holes are supposed to be here because this will go on this side, the loop, 
and the hooks will go on this side. So I realized this after the print is finished and I took this off the printer bit and realized that, oh crap, I put the, the holes in the wrong place. So I scrapped that and I went to print again. By the way, to print one of these boxes is about six hours job. Six hours takes to for my printer to 3D print this. Obviously tweaking the settings, etc. It can speed up the process, but it can drop the quality. And I didn't want to do that. And six hours, I just woke up in the morning, press print, and just end of the day is done. So this is, um, I went basically a berserk on the, went berserk when I realized that uh, I done the holes in the wrong place. So the most recent version, I have holes exactly the same ones on both sides. So if I add something on here, the software do duplicates on another side, so it means it's a mirror image. So it doesn't matter if I put this one here and the, the hooks here and vice versa, they're all gonna end up being the same thing. So this is the most recent version. By the way, all the files that you need to download this kind of thing, I will leave in the description below for you to go and check it out. And if you're watching this video on Reddit, go and check the comment section. You should find my comment there with the link to go take, with that will take you to Thingiverse page and you can download the STLs for STL files from there. I'll try to name STL files with the versioning numbers. So it's gonna be easier for you to track because I already have a lot of ideas how to I can improve this. And I'll mention that in this video. So this is most recent Dex Hook 2.0. Let's grab my Dex pad with my Note 9. So as you can see, it goes inside there, great. And it's put on the top of the monitor, that's fine. My phone basically is slightly tilted this way, so it's always gonna uh, face my phone, fun, phone front facing camera will face my face. Okay, that's it's just a long day for me. Anyway, so that's it. And I have the holes here, or the loop here to, I need to knock something down to get the cable management done so I can put the charger in here, loop for this, slide for this because this uh, is not a full loop, it is a hole in one side so I can uh, sort of push the cable inside. As you can see, that's it, it sits here and it's perfect. Okay, you can get yourself a 90 degree angle adapter or something to make the, the cables less stress uh, at the connection points, but this is just for me to give, give you a demo, so that's it. And it's perfect, it works great, I can, go and basically put this on the top of the, my monitor like this it sits sturdy it's not going to go anywhere the ventilation is the same as the previous models uh, there's a holes at the back at the front at the bottom so there's a lot of place for air to go into the dex pad and then blow into my phone when it needs to cool down it's never going to get overheated and by the way it's all printed in pla and here we go it sits there it's perfect and um, i can put everything into and as far I can say this is like a proper version that I can release as the STL files to everybody who's watching this video to go and download. And I already have an idea as how I can improve this. And let me share a couple of ideas with you. And I hope that somebody watching this video will share their ideas how I can improve this as well in the comment section below or on the Reddit post. So now idea number one, the holes that I have at the top here, I'll duplicate them. I'll basically copy them all across the box, all around the box. The reason being is, Let's say I want to, um, let's, 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 I'm going to show you this. For example, this is the, the wireless earbuds that I'm using with uh, Note 9. I want them to be somewhere here attached because I know that they're next to my phone when I'm using Samsung Dex. I can take them out, use them, put back in, store it in here. My, I, when I need to go somewhere, I take my phone from a Dex pad and I take this here bus next to them and I know that every, everything is in one place. So that's the idea number one, just have something like storing storage this. And I can, I can accomplish this by having holes here, then creating some sort like a holding bracket or something attached on the sides. And then I can store this one like this on the side somewhere here or maybe at the back. This is idea number one, having a lot of holes around it and mount the earbuds. Um, the idea number two, it's external hard drive, which is here. So this is a Toshiba one terabyte external hard drive and I want to mount this somehow on this USB on this Samsung Dex Hook 2.0. So get the loop, the whole thing, extend that a bit away from the box and add and something like that's far extend. Basically you, this is gonna go here like this. Uh, I hope you can see this is gonna go like this here. And next is gonna be this. Obviously make it, make it more secure, not slide, slide around, or maybe something like this, vertical, horizontal, hold it like this. And then let me show it to you a final result, what I think it might look like. So the, this is mounted like this, this is mounted like this. My Note 9 goes inside, connects to this. Uh, it's a bit tricky to uh, connect at the first attempt. Here we go. So all this mounted. So 
The power loop obviously going to be further further away from here. Loop is going to be further away for cables to go through. So cables comes from here into the DEX pad for power and HDMI. Then from a DEX pad, USB goes straight into external hard drive. And as soon as I connect my Note 9, Note 9 will detect external hard drive and I will be able to access one terabyte of storage. And obviously it's going to kick in the Samsung DEX. The problem with that, all this setup is I can't use my Note 9 with a case. That's a problem. I can't use with a case. So phone needs to be naked if I want to use it in here. Another thing you just probably noticed, adding my phone into this box is a bit faffing around because this moves up and down. My idea is to add some sort of like a, like a little bracket, not a bracket, like a little access, um, like a bendy things inside to make sure that this, when this slides in, it locks in the position. And then it's much easier for my Note 9 to slide in and connect it or just to add something that will guide my phone into the position for best optimal connection. So that's the idea. So overall, this is a Samsung DeX Hook 2.0 created by yours truly. And uh, all the files you want to, all the files that you need to print this, I leave in the description below the link to a Thingiverse website. And like I said, if you're watching this on Reddit, check one of the comments, you'll find my comment there that will take you to the Thingiverse website to download this. If you have any ideas or suggestions how to make this even more better and more funky, um, let me know in the comment section below and I'll obviously I'll, I'll, I'll check them out and I'll see how I can Im Im improve or in include them into my design. Thank you much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content. I test Android apps and games on Samsung DeX, but I decided to go a bit out of the box and start testing the physical things, not only USB-C hubs and laptop, lab docs, but starting to create something that is easy to 3D print and it will help to use Samsung DeX even better, especially when you have DeX pad and you, you just, you have no use to this, you're not gonna throw away, well, I hope you're not gonna throw away, you're just gonna go and get somewhere, or if you have already 3D printer, print something like this, where you can utilize Samsung DeX pad, and it can basically, you can breathe a second life into this, into this bad boy. So, and don't forget to subscribe, or not subscribe, or join Samsung DeX subway group, there's over 13,000 members there, they're helping each other to make sure that Samsung DeX works for us. And we're just trying to spread the word on the entire, entire internet about the Samsung DeX. As far as I know, Samsung DeX Library Group is only one group in the entire internet that are dedicated to Samsung DeX. So we are doing well. Okay, so I think that's it. Enough yapping. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.